Hello guys, this is Sir Boyet. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel ko, ay mag-subscribe na at i-hit mo na lang ang bell button para maging updated sa aking mga videos. Maraming salamat po! You can see different types of plants everywhere. It differ in size, shape, color, smell, and even in their mode of reproduction. Like animals, plants need to continuously reproduce themselves. Some reproduce through their seeds, while some utilize other means. Some plants reproduce asexually using their parts like their roots, stems, and leaves. However, there are some plants which reproduce by using their accessory part like the flower. Plants can reproduce sexually through their flowers. The flower is the reproductive part of the flowering plant. A complete flower has the following parts, receptacle, sepals, petals, stamens, and pistils. The receptacle is the enlarged upper end of a flower stalk which bears the flower or group of flowers. Sepals are modified leaves which enclose and protect the other parts of the flower when it is still a bud. When the flower blooms, the sepal supports the bottom of the flower. A group of sepals is called calyx. Petals form the most obvious part of a flower. Most petals are brightly colored to attract insects for pollination. A group of petals is called corolla. Stamen is the male part of a flower. It consists of the filament and the anther. The filament holds the anther in a position tall enough to release the pollen. The anther consists of two lobes that contain pollen sacs. Pollen sacs have pollen grains that are released by the anther when they mature. The pistil is the female part of a flower. It consists of the stigma, style, and ovary. The style is a stalk that connects the stigma to the ovary. It is tall enough to trap pollen. The stigma is a swollen structure at the end of the style. It receives the pollen grains. Mature stigma secretes fluid that stimulates the pollen grains to germinate. The ovary is the enlarged portion of the pistil. The ovary is the female organ of a flower containing ovules which develop into seeds upon fertilization. The ovary itself will mature into fruits, enclosing the seeds. Now, let us record. Question, what are the parts of a complete flower? We have petal, pistils, stamens, sepal, and receptacle. What type of reproduction in plants where the male and female parts of the flowers are involved? If your answer is sexual, you are correct. What do you call the male part of the flower? And if your answer is stamen, you are correct. 
What do you call the female part of the flower? If your answer is pistil, you are also correct. What do you call the part of the flower containing two lobes that contain pollen sacs and pollen grains? If your answer is anther, you are absolutely correct. What is the name given to a group of sepals of a flower? If your answer is calyx, you are correct. What is the term given to a group of petals in a flower? And if your answer is corolla, you are correct. What part of a flower containing female gametes or sex cells called ovum? If your answer is ovule or ovule, you are correct. What do you call the swollen structure at the end of the style? If your answer is stigma, you are correct. What do you call the enlarged upper end of a flower stalk which bears the flower or group of flowers? If your answer is receptacle, you are correct. What is the enlarged portion of the pistil of a flower containing ovules which develop into seeds upon fertilization? If your answer is ovary, you are correct. Thank you for watching and please subscribe for more videos update. Thank you. This is Sir Boyan.